Once you've queued for versus or training AI, it's time to start playing. When you jump into a game, the first thing you'll be presented with is your starting hand in the mulligan phase. The mulligan allows you to select cards from your starting hand, shuffle them back into your deck, and receive new cards equal to the number that you discarded. This only happens once, and for new players, we suggest dropping anything with a 5 mana cost or higher for the start of the game. Mana is your primary resource in Hand of the Gods and is indicated on the bottom left of your UI. Players start each match with 2 mana, increasing their total by 1 at the start of each turn up to a maximum of 10. Mana crystals are also refreshed at the beginning of each turn, so don't be afraid to spend it all. You can be defending either side of the battlefield in Hand of the Gods, indicated by a blue summoning stone, while your opponents are always indicated by a red summoning stone. The bottom left of the UI features your leader ability, which can be used once per turn for 2 mana and will close to indicate that you have used it that turn. Below your mana, you can see the amount of cards you have in hand, as well as the amount remaining in your deck. Next to that is your hand filled with the units and spells that you have drawn from your deck. Finally, the End Turn button allows you to pass your turn once you've made all of your moves. The End Turn button also has a built-in turn timer indicating how much time you have left until your turn is automatically ended and passed to your opponent. And there is a 10-second warning bar that appears above your cards when time is winding down. 